As the prophet of esports, I rely on trustworthy and meaningful data every day. Data from our research partner, YouGov, offers the most complete view of esports fans and gamers in the world, providing context to who they are, what they think, the brands they buy, and things they do. YouGov's connected insights and research services inform strategy at every level. If you're a team, a brand, agency, or rights holder, you should be talking with YouGov. Their partners measure and maximize ROI and are telling compelling stories with data. Visit yougov.com slash gaming dash esports to learn more. Let's talk about Epic. Uh, we spent a lot of time on Epic last week. They have more news this week. And I know, I know there's going to be disagreement because there was some disagreement on this behind the scenes. <laughs> but, but the headline here is Harmonix is joining the Epic Games family. That's right. Epic Games acquiring uh, the development studio between uh, behind Guitar Hero, Rock Band, uh, Dance Central, etc., um, and uh, and Epic is acquiring them. So uh, no no number was given. So there was no nothing was disclosed in terms of the size of the deal, how much Epic paid, how the deal was structured. Uh, but Harmonix is joining the Epic family. This is what like the the second major ac developer studio acquisition by Epic. Uh, the first one being the uh, Psionics, right? Rocket League. Um, what do you guys make of this? Jeff, I know you have strong feelings. I like on this. it. No, I, I like it. I think, and I think, you know, we'll, we'll, we'll disagree here. So I think it'll be a fun conversation, but uh, the reason I like it one, I don't think this was a massive investment. This wasn't Epic, you know, spending 10 billion to buy, zynga or something like this this was probably <laughs> tens of millions hundreds of millions type of thing clearly i don't know that for sure i don't think it was disclosed but that that's what i imagine it was to me it's a pretty low risk way for epic to take a shot on goal in an industry or in a genre that i think could be interesting in the metaverse we've lauded roblox for having these in-game concerts we've been pretty positive on epics in-game concerts now i'm not sure that that's what Harmonix is going to do we clearly don't know that uh i don't know if that's the skill set that they have but there's something here at the intersection of this metaverse slash music and i think you take a team that has a lot has had a lot of success in the past at innovating with new genres in that sort of area that that sphere and you probably got them for a pretty good price because i don't know what they've been doing the last like decade uh to be fair, I don't know how many people are on that team now or what what's left there. Um, but say you got a good number of developers for probably fairly cheap, and you got a team that has some genre expertise in a genre that you want, if you're Tim Sweeney, to sort of take a shot on goal with. Like to me, whether this will work or not, I'm not sure. But I think we spend a lot of time on this podcast in general talking negatively about companies that I don't think are innovating and aren't building new games. And I think it's unfair for us to do that, then also complain when people seem to be doing stuff that may actually lead to innovation and new games and new content. So even if, if whether it works or not, I'm not sure. I think it's a pretty low risk shot on goal with, with a, a genre that we've been pretty positive on in the past. Jimmy, you agree with this? I mean, that's, yeah, yeah, and that's only one application of the partnership, right? I mean, there's music licenses that I'm not sure what the ownership or what that looks like, but they had some of the biggest songs ever, you know, on, on that cat or on their catalogs. And I don't know if that was limited to just those games at that time or if that's something that they still have rights to. Um, you, you know, I, I, I can share that in some calls I've had with some other game developers, I know that this was a huge point of interest and something that they wanted to do. It's, at its core, it's the cross section of music and gaming, right? The two biggest things to influence popular culture in the last 30 years and, and for music way, way longer. So um, when I saw that, when, when I see this, um, it's really exciting because you think of the metaverse, you think of uh, interactivity with 
just playing games in a different way, you know, not just mouse and keyboard, not just controller. Now you have these pseudo musical instruments uh, and different things that, that uh, as a family or as a friend group, or just you as an individual can kind of find time. Uh, my best friend's dad is an amazing guitarist, picked up, an ac uh, picked up a Guitar Hero guitar with the little buttons and was just slaying on it, you know, it's just, um, so I, I don't know, I just, I feel like how well those games did uh, 10, 15 years ago, um, and kind of seeing the potential for what they can do now. The biggest question is, is Epic the, the right fit for them? You know, can Epic take them the distance? Cause I know we criticize Epic a lot and have a lot of concerns about their ability to, to deliver outside of Fortnite. Um, so that's the, that's the red flag that I see. But as far as a, Hey, how can we revitalize these gaming, um, brands you know these these formerly successful outrageously successful uh you know games um that, that's an easy yes and like in you know a big win i think so uh, i'll leave it to either you or Lindsay to chime in yeah i don't think i could i don't think i could disagree with you guys more i <laughs> i'm totally with the profit on this one um when i saw this i sort of thought why these rhythm games aren't that popular they face so much trouble on twitch with with streaming issues and with licensing issues. And I just feel like Epic, the one place Epic has actually had success in building the metaverse has been its musical experiences. And I still feel like that they, they could certainly do more with those, but the creative vision and the directions they've had has been so great and wildly popular. So I understand trying to add on to that, but I don't think that picking up a failed genre that struggles to do well in streaming because of licensing issues is the way I would go in order to innovate on that. I, that being said, if, if it's a, I mean, if it's a low offer, I guess, why not? It, it's something new and different. And I never hate on that part of it. It's just not necessarily something like, I just didn't feel like Epic needed help in the musical experiences category. It was like the one place where they're kind of hitting it out of the park. Uh, that's, like, that's fair. Yeah. But, uh, just to rebut before Paul, I know Paul's going to come in with the, the ultimate hot take and, and kill us all. But like the, <laughs> I, I think, I, I guess what I would, really, I don't think we should assume necessarily that they're going to just recreate rock band or, or, right. um, you know, like they, to your point, no, they might like have yeah. they might have expertise in licensing. Like there there is this big issue with DMCA. Like maybe Rock Band has a team and executives that have these relationships, and it, maybe that's why they're bringing them in because they can actually help. Um, you know, build relationship music labels. Maybe they're going to build some different experience that we haven't thought of. I, I would agree with you. I personally would be disappointed in this acquisition if their plan is to like build rock band within Fortnite and sell like right. cheap plastic guitars to everyone. Cause I don't think that will work. Um, yeah. cause that, that genre is sort of dead. I would also, I would also say, and uh, just based off of some talks that I've had with attorneys that work on deals like this with companies like this, uh, that I would be surprised if these music issues on Twitch remain a problem for much longer. It's something that's been at the forefront of their minds and their clients' minds. And there are, are products and things that are, are being developed. X had announced, uh, you know, uh, uh, something uh, along these lines as well for younger, lesser known, uh, musicians to get their, their content distributed. I know people in marketing and music that are now looking to distribute songs, not like through music videos on MTV. I'm aging myself cause I know they don't do music anymore, but instead to put their songs out through Twitch streams for the first time. So I just want to say the integration of music coming to gaming and all those licensing issues is, uh, I think that's going to be a, big there's gonna be a lot of news there over the next year uh addressing that and kind of lining them up or letting them play together um wow i was i was gonna disagree on the harmonics thing but now i have to disagree on that last point jimmy um no no chance zero chance do you realize i've been getting pitched technologies and solutions to music on platform x copyright issues since literally 2006 probably 2006 the first deal i saw a company saying we have a solution we're gonna we're gonna fix the way the music industry we're like this is we're gonna be having uh, we're gonna be doing a podcast 10 years from now and music's still gonna be an issue it'll be on platform xyz it'll be music in the metaverse it'll be music somewhere the music industry will always be a problem because fundamentally they're backwards in their thinking 
um, and and they're slow to adopt new tech, and it's always going to be a problem. I, I so let me just put that out there. That's for sure not going to get solved by exit by anyone over the next twelve months. There's there's just no chance. It's too big of a problem. Um, on harmonics, you know, I, I'm with you guys. If it or I'm with you know Jeff specifically, I guess on this. If if this was an aqua hire. And they paid a few million bucks to get some developers, some people with some licensing expertise, whatever it was. Like I'm, I that to me makes total sense. It's you know it's hard hiring good developers right now, game developers, and so that makes total sense to me. If they paid any kind of premium above that, this is where I don't understand. Like because and, and I'll just read the, the 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 announcement from Harmonic says now we'll be working with Epic to once again challenge expectations as we bring our unique brand of musical gaming experiences to the metaverse, which maybe I'm short-sighted. I don't understand how they do that. I don't understand what cheap plastic guitars have anything to do with the metaverse. It's totally antithetical to the metaverse. Like it's, the whole idea is digitizing the physical, not, not adding more physical to, to the experience. Um, so I don't really get it. If anything, what this shows me is two things. I draw two conclusions for this. One, uh, Epic is building a tremendous, uh, a very consistent track record of buying games on the decline, right? Fortnite's on the decline, so they understand this very well. Um, Fall Guys was on the decline when they bought them and is now dead. Um, Harmonix has been dead for a while, clearly on the decline. Like, there's there's a track maybe there's a strategy around buying dead gaming brands maybe um, which I think is unfortunate uh, but totally consistent with my Tim Sweeney is distracted theory um, and then the second point I think is just that this feels like they're out raising money which we know they are they're struggling to raise around a, a crazy valuation that they want which we know they are and this is like showing that they're doing something that's accretive, that's value add, that justifies a bigger price tag. Hey, now we own Rock Band, right? Like now now it's okay if we're asking for a $100 billion valuation or whatever the number is, right? And so it feels a little bit like fundraising strategy more than any kind of operational or business, like strategic business case around but it. Wouldn't that, wouldn't that argument only make sense if it was actually accretive? Investors are, are for the most part, not that sophisticated. <laughs> I got to imagine someone investing in this. They're not going to no, not, not know not, not, if it's They're sophisticated or not. from an investment standpoint, but like this sounds good, right? At face value, it sounds good. Like, and, and most, it, the reality is most 50 year old investors, right? Probably have some rec, like will recognize rock band because it was only relevant about 20 years ago. Um, true. more, more than they might recognize something else, right? Like in, in some ways, this feels totally targeted at that, like 50 to 60 year old investor crowd who, who has some recollection of, you know, rock band in the living room. Could be. <laughs> I'll buy that. I mean, I think they would, st I think I still think that these people would have to like see the number. So like that almost the fact that you're, the fact that they're doing around and they're they're talking actively to investors makes me think that this either is a very small deal or is actually a creative, which I, I highly doubt it's a creative because I just, I don't know what rock band even like makes. So I think it's a small tuck in thing, which maybe you can convince me then that's a good idea. I just can't imagine they spend a lot of money for what is potentially not very much besides an idea and like some talent and the investors would get super excited about it. No, but if, it, if it's just an aqua hire, then it stands on its own, right? Like it's not part of the investment story. That I totally get, right? Like if it costs them almost nothing, you're picking up bodies that are tough to get in, other, in any other situation. Like I, I buy that. I, and I, I like that actually, right? Like it's so competitive for good game development talent. This is in some ways the only way to build teams these days. Like that that I'm actually pretty okay with where we're where we don't know is what price they paid, right? If they paid a hundred million dollars for this, then I'm going, well, wait a second. Like that, that feels, that feels off. 